I'm Brian Baliwas. I just wanted to share a tip on selecting the right ring. Uh, these days there's a million different rings and even within the same company, there's a bunch of different styles. So it's like, how do you know what ring is needed? I'll go ahead and start off by just saying, I don't think one ring fits every tooth and every prep design. And that's why I think it's helpful to have a wide variety of rings. And one of the easiest ways without getting too technical into the design of the feet and the arms and the different cushions is if if it looks right and it feels right, then it probably is right. Trying out different rings definitely helps you find a ring that fits. And it's important for me to do this before a matrix or a wedge is put in place. We've all had a matrix put in with a wedge and then we go to put on our selected ring choice and all of a sudden what happens? We crumple that matrix or that wedge goes flying or we break something. And after I've prepped, I'm ready to fill. I've got my dam on, which is invisible at this point. Uh, I promise you it's there. We can just try out the ring. So what I'll do sometimes is I'll place a ring and just see how it sits on the tooth. Where is it contacting the tooth? Does it actually stay on? Is it stable? So if I feel this, it's, it's fairly stable. It's not even moving at all, it, it's really locked in place. And the reason for that is because this specific set of rings, these reinvent rings, have these little feet that really lock in to the undercuts of teeth. That makes them really helpful for areas of wide preps or if you don't have a lot of tooth structure to hold on to. So they just kind of lock in place. So again, one thing you can do is just kind of try that on. Here's a molar ring and you might say, oh my gosh, this needs to be used in a molar area. Well, not necessarily. Again, before you fill, you can put it on and just see how it fits. Yes, the feet of this ring are a little wider than they need to be, but it's getting good separation. It looks like it's adapting well and the height looks okay. This might be acceptable for this given situation. Again, the guidelines of having premolar rings and molar rings, those are all just guidelines and they're, they're rules. And as they say, rules are meant to be broken. As long as you have two things, and for me, that's a sealed matrix. As long as the matrix is, is sealed to the tooth, so that way we don't get any flowable or composite flowing where it shouldn't, that's important. Important. And then the second thing, the little checklist there is, is making sure that you actually have contact of that matrix to the adjacent tooth. As long as those things are met and this, these rings fit well, then we should be okay. So this is a ring here and you'll notice it's a little tall. It doesn't sit as stable. This might not be a ring I'd want to use for that area. So again, try it out, have a stable of different rings that you can try out. So that way you can find something that fits well and fits your needs.